Hey guys, it's Blaze from Funbox here, and we're going to continue on yet again with then hopefully the last part of this uh, random item generation tutorial mini series thing. Um, so in the last one, we were able to actually let's let's play that through. In the last video, we were able to spawn a bunch of different sprites. Sorry, a bunch of different objects with different names and different sprites associated with them. We created the 2D array, which holds all of the stats, but we haven't done anything with the attack, defense, or speed yet. In this video, we are going to tackle that. And as well as that, we're going to create some sort of rarity system in terms of, well, what items can drop uh, depending on the rarity. Because right now, what it's doing is it's actually giving the type of item uh, basically uh, equal standing with each other. So for example, maybe we want to create, uh, we want to have the obsidian sword spawn maybe at a 10% chance. By doing that, we could create some sort of rarity system and you know some grindiness to the game, I guess. But that's completely up to you if you want to do that. You can opt out of the tutorial. I mean, you're not paying for it. It is free, it's on YouTube, so. Hey, you do what you want to do with the tutorial videos. Again, if you have any questions or some comments to this new format that I'm trying out, I'd love to hear it. Just leave it in the comment section below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Uh, even though I have, I have been making any videos for a while, uh, I was still able to at least answer questions that people had, which is at least something. All right, let's keep going because we're almost, we're pretty much finished. Uh, after this one, we're done. All right, let's go for Array. In this one, we're going to calculate the damage. Our damage has a min and max attack value. So what we're going to do is Array. Remember, our item stat only has one entry for attack. So what I'm going to do is going to go, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the code first. I'm going to skip over it, and then I'll explain that line of code once it's done. All right, so I just finished typing that out and I caught and did some editing magic. So what we're actually going to do to get the attack of our weapon is we are rounding the any value between stat table min attack and the max attack. Now, random range will actually give us a decimal number. And what round does is if it's less than 0 0.5, it will round down. If it's above, it will round up. Of course, if you wanted to have decimal damage, fractional damage in your game, then you're more than entitled to do that. All you have to do is just get rid of the round, assuming you're following the this tutorial video one to one. All right, let's do the same thing for defense, but let's do something a bit different for it. For defense, I was thinking we go array, and then defense item stat defense equals uh, item type at whoops Japanese keyboard at item I'm using a Japanese keyboard so some of the keys are a bit different still not used to it even now <laughs> stat table uh, stat table let's just write defense for stat table and there it is and let's say we want to plus, we want to add a hmm, random range, random, where is it? Oh, there it is, random range, random range. Let's say minus two and positive two. Let's try that. Let's see what happens there. We're going to actually encapsulate this in a round value as well. So the cool thing here is that if it comes up as a negative number, this plus, as you know, will automatically become a negative as well. It will become defense minus two. All right, let's just, as much as I don't wanna do that, let's copy paste that, but instead of a defense, let's assign it to 
speed. And again, here we need to change that to speed. Like I said, I don't like, I personally don't like copy pasting like that, but for the sake of speed, uh, I will. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's done for our item stat. We won't see it in our game because we haven't actually told the draw event to draw any of these stats at all. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Let's add in a, another line of code here. Gosh, I wish I didn't have to do this, but all right, it makes it easier. <laughs> Let's go plus uh, 16. The default font size for game maker studio is 16 pixels so that's why it's that's why i'm incrementing by 16. and instead of that let's go with tack and we, we don't need to debug the sprite or the sub image we don't need to show that in the text because we already know what that is uh, just by looking at it, right? We can tell that it's a sword sprite and we can tell that it's showing the correct um, sub image based on whatever is written here. So let's have a look at that actually. Let's try playing that, testing it out. It's always a good idea to test it. Okay, there we go. We have a steel sword, it's got 24 attack, it's got nine defense and it's got eight speed. There's a magic sword, steel sword, Obsidian sword, there we go. We have a few other items there. Now you can see some of these are kind of like weird. Like, I mean, they're, they're all spawning three, we just saw there, three uh, magic swords. We don't want that. What we want to do is we want to be able to have some sort of randomness to it. So this part is completely optional. So if you don't want to do this part, if you want to have randomized or even fixed um, drop chances, then that's fine. You can stop here and thank you for watching, by the way. Um, so you can stop here and that's totally fine. If you do want to have like some sort of percentage, drop percentage mechanic going on, then keep following along because that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to create a new script and we are going to call this uh, spawn chance. And instead of here, instead of up here, instead of having iRandom3, we are simply going to call spawn chances, right? Let's change that there. My mouse disappeared. Spawn chance. There we go. This script will have a bunch of return values, but let's get to that. When we get to that, I'll explain it exactly. Let's open that in this window across here. We're going to have a local variable. We're going to call this number. And this will be equal to random one. So it will return to us a number, a decimal number between zero and one. If it was I random, then it can only give us zero or one. But because we want to have some sort of fractional um, number, we are going to do it this way. Strictly speaking, because we are working with percentages, you could use I random 100, but that just that's just pointless. There's no real reason for you to do that. All right, let's go ahead and create the odds for spawning a an iron sword, or let's create odds in general. Uh, I'm going to fast forward again. And then I'll explain the code because it's really simple. Um, yeah, let's just do that. All right, the editing magic is done and let's, let's go over this code. So what we have here is we've generated our random number. This is going to give us anything between zero and one. If the number is less than 0 0.5, it will return zero, which according to our table, according to our table is going to be iron sword. If the number is 0 0.8, or if it's less than 0 0.8, it will return a steel sword. 0 0.9, so our chances are getting slimmer, it will be a an obsidian sword, right? 
So there's only a, a few percent chance there. And then if it's anything, if it's between 0 0.91 and 1, it will return a magic sword. We can't really see what that looks like just by explaining. So let, let's let's test that out. If we press enter there, we still we can still get uh, a magic sword because if you think about it, 0 0.1 out of one is actually 10%. So it's it's still quite a high number. But you can see here that there's a, a much lower chance of getting that. Now let let's try to change those numbers. Let's say five. 0.95. Let's try spawning that in. Let's see how hard it is now to get a magic sword. All right, now it, it's still unreliable to test it in this way, but we can see that now we're getting more iron swords than there were before, and we're getting far fewer magic swords, right? This is this concludes our mini series, right? We did that in three videos. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. If it was useful, um, then I'm glad that you did learn something. If you like the format or if you didn't like the format, let me know in the comments below because the feedback helps me improve the content for the future, assuming that I will be able to make new content in the future. Um, and I really do hope that I get to do that. Um, the work situation here in Japan does, hasn't really changed because of the virus. Oh wait, are, are we allowed to say that on YouTube? Anyway, it hasn't really changed um, much. So like for me personally, it's just been work as usual, but I am trying to get back into making more YouTube videos. In any case, if you like the format, uh, let me know. If you didn't like the format, let me know. But more importantly, if you have any questions, you didn't understand anything whether it was in this video or if it was in any of the past two videos that i made then uh, following this topic anyway then by all means just leave them in the comment section below and i'll i'll be happy to answer them if you have any anyway guys that's all from me if you liked it then subscribe thumbs up you guys know what to do i'll see you in the next one bye bye